Hey everybody and welcome to another video with Spartan086 and today we're doing another pan for customization. So what you'll see in front of us is Forces of Valor's Unimax Panther TT2 which was Normandy and I have decided to give it a big massive customised job. So customization doesn't actually really affect the outlook of the tank. I haven't really changed anything major on the tank such as taking away any of the side skirts road wheels or anything like that but i have added a lot of foliage tank traps uh, tank tracks sorry uh, netting and road wheels to the vehicle the whole point of this was just to see how i could change one of the panthers and it looking more of what was going on at the time so your very basic vanilla panther didn't come anything like this um, when you look at the newsreels at the time, uh, captured Panthers or uh, from the books, even from uh, from Google, you can look up, you'll see that the Panthers were going into action. Tank crews taking a lot of experience of trying to break up their image and protection. Now, obviously, as you can see here, it is a bit wild with the straw and bush, but even though it looks crazy, for the crews at the time, this was really good. For breaking up their image <clears throat> towards obviously uh, tank gunners, other tanks or uh, aircraft. It gave the, t the crews a bit of time maybe to get the cover or to take action against those that are a threat. Uh, all of this again as I said in the last video can be bought on eBay or any kind of site online. Uh, I would say shop around because you never know what kind of prices you can get. But overall it turned out pretty well. The tracks I used were from some excess tracks I had from a Jag, tag, a Jag Panther, sorry. So I put them on the side because I did see a lot of the, the crews doing that, which was technically against regulations, but if it can save your life, why not? As you see, there's also road wheels. These are Forces of Valor road wheels. These are 135 that I had from a Berg Panther that I was building and decided to stop and put on this. Again, they're not painted, which like is a bit of work and play, but hopefully I'll get that done shortly and give it a better image. Overall, the vehicles worked out pretty well. Um, I quite like the fact that the netting turned out really well. Again, that's kind of like medical bandages that I've taken and uh, soaked in paint and then with glue to harden them and then putting a wee bit of a super glued on to give it a more sturdy effect on the vehicle. At the front obviously I've got the tow chains which work pretty well and then I've got a massive amount of kind of bush foliage here which um, does give the tank a bit of a break up of his image you know if you're sitting with a 17 pounder and that kind of at a distance you're looking you go what is that and you have to take a couple of minutes to actually focus in on it. That Panther crew could already have put in around right into you in that show. So that, that's the whole point of that. It did turn out pretty well. And obviously just a wee cutting shaft to do. So I'll leave it at that guys. I hope you are well. hope you're liking the videos. Uh, please like and subscribe and share it out. I never actually said this before but do get it shared out so it goes out to people. And maybe get some more subscribers. Hopefully have the tiger up soon and everybody can get a wee look at that. So wherever you are in the world guys, please take care. Until the next time, bye bye.